Well, you might now know him just by hearing his name, but James Dowling was a very influential member of the Long Island community, and it all started after he returned home from fighting in World War II. Today, the man they call Red was remembered and honored for his work and dedication. News 12's Danielle Campbell has more. Dad loved his family, his country, his town. Uh, he loved his grandkids. He had almost 60 of them. He was a uh, great man with a huge heart and a lot of love to spread. It was a celebration of life here at St. Philip and James Roman Catholic Church in St. James. At his funeral mass, James Red Dowling was remembered not only for the legacy he left behind, but for a life well lived. Made it work when it couldn't work. The 99-year-old World War II veteran was part of the greatest generation. Red Dowling grew up during the Great Depression and fought in World War II. According to his children, in 1943, 20-year-old Red Dowling was drafted and became part of an elite and highly skilled group of men that flew the B-24 bombers in the Army Air Corps. On September 27, 1944, during a bombing run over Germany, he was shot down and taken as a prisoner of war. Red eventually returned home as a decorated war veteran and married his childhood sweetheart, Dorothy. And they went on to have eight children. They just always wanted to have a big family, and that's where the eight of us came in. <laughs> Six of the Dowling eight shared their memories of their father. He brought a lot of fun in life. He made the best of it and made it best for everybody around him also. Besides being a busy father of eight, Red Dowling started the St. James Little League and served as the Smithtown Highway Superintendent from 1960 to 1998. He was also an avid golfer and a wicked gin rummy player and restored antique cars. In Red's funeral procession, one of his 1930 Ford Suburbans that he actually rebuilt and restored. And the family jokes because he had 30 Fords in his collection and only one Chevy. His family says James Red Dowling was known for his values of personal responsibility, duty, honor, and faith. So we're going to miss him. Miss him dearly. In St. James, Danielle Campbell, News 12, Long Island. Well, Jim Brad Dowling is featured in the Faces of War video series and has an entire chapter written about him in Tom Brokaw's book, The Greatest Generation.